Hi everyone, my name is Tom and I'm currently working on New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon. It's a management game where the city turns the bridge into a park and it requires some food for customers. That's your chance to build your food booths, produce your own ingredients and take over the bridge. On Saturday morning I got my new laptop and on Saturday afternoon when I was editing the devlog on my old laptop it just died. It doesn't turn on so I had to fastly and furiously immigrate to my new laptop and that's why the audio can be a bit different throughout the video. I'm sorry about that, let's begin. I had a few tasks for this week. I wanted to make the logic for the shops to use the ingredients they store. Uh, right now what I have, uh, the player can buy or produce ingredients themselves and move them to the store. But these ingredients don't actually get used yet. I realized that with my requirements I will have to remake the system that calculates the customers like this entire thing needs to be redone, the entire design of the customers. And this was a big task for this week, I didn't have enough time for that, so I will tackle this next week. I started looking again into hiring an artist to make the capsules. Because this, what I have right now, is terrible. And I think that what's hinging my wish lists currently. I found a few potential artists, now all I need is to make a concept of what I envision and find a few references. I did the same process for Cyber Launch Tycoon, this was the concept of it at the time. And hopefully next week I will collect all the materials that I need and I'll start reaching out to people. I was working on the pause menu. This took more time than I expected, because I need to take into account a few things. First of all, there is this separation between pausing a single player game or a multiplayer game. So when you're in a single player and you open the pause menu, the game should pause and the player should see the menu. In the multiplayer, I want the player to be able to open the menu without actually pausing the game for everyone. If I'm a player and I just want to change the settings, for example I want to turn down the audio, I don't want to pause the game for everyone, that's just ridiculous. So I added a pause button. If you press the pause button, this will pause the game for everyone connected. In the multiplayer, I need to check whether the player is a host or not. The host is gonna have extra options, for example save the game. And then I need to check for small things, like if the game was already paused or not, set the UI appropriately, because I had a few issues where I would open the menu, pause the game, and when we unpause it, the next time I open the menu, that window is still there, and it shouldn't be. So this is for pausing the game. Now for leaving the game. When leaving the game, there are also a few checks that you need to make sure that you do. If it's a single player, you just should shut down the server. Whether the player is a host or not. If it's a host, it should kick everyone out. And if you're just a client who connected to a host, you just should leave the game. And the things that I still need to figure out is what happens to the player when the client leaves. So there are a few options. First, the player shuts down. So all the factories, all the shops go into a closed mode. So customers don't go in there, the factories don't produce anything, like whatever the player owns just gets turned off. Another option is to let the player be taken over by an AI. If a client leaves, it just will continue playing as an AI instance. The third option is that the client abandons the game. And then everything the player owned will just get sold, the shops will get free, other players will be able to buy, buy those spots, Factors will disappear. Basically, the player abandons the game and there is no coming back from that. So I'm still not sure what exactly I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna have at least two options for the shutdown and abandon a match. Still something I need to think about and plan out. Yeah, so even if the pause menu is such a small thing, it took me a week to go over all the scenarios and fix most of the bugs. I, I think I still have a few. It was interesting to make. There are a few more cases that I need to test out, but pretty much that's done. The rest of the changes are much more global than this. And one more thing, on Sundays I usually try not to work on New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon. It's like my off day, I usually work on other projects. So last Sunday, live on stream, I was working on my ducks, these small things that run in around when I stream. So we added a few commands to them, so now they're much more interactive, which is really nice. And before we finish, as I mentioned in the previous devlog, I want to share the wishlist as the game progresses throughout the weeks. So in a week I only got three wishlists, and again I think this is because of the art that I have on Steam. Uh, so hopefully in the upcoming weeks this will change and these numbers will get much bigger. Um, anyway, thank you for watching, please wishlist New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon on Steam, and I'll see you next time.